Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to be working with shapes in math again, um, our two-dimensional shapes. You're going to need your packet open to page 661 and you're also going to need this page. So what this is is the next couple of lessons are we're going to require movable shapes. So we made you these the shape page so that you need to cut them and maybe store them in a Ziploc bag so that you can use them so I already did this on my end so I want you to go ahead and get your moms and dads to help you they need to be in as close to the shape on the page as possible that way they'll fit as you need them to do so go ahead and get that get some crayons get a pencil and we will get started. Uh, go ahead and pause the video and when you're ready, pick back up and we will start on uh, page 661 again, composing new shapes. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take the shapes that we have been learning and we are going to use them to make other shapes. So you should have taken this page, cut your pieces apart like this, See, they're pretty close to the shape they were on the page, okay? So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take your little squares, and they're little yellow squares like this, and we are going to try to make those squares into a large rectangle. So we are going to make a rectangle using the squares like this. And it doesn't... I'm just going to do like this to make sure that I have enough squares. So, if you look at that, okay, what I have done is I have taken those squares and I have made that into the shape of a rectangle. So, a rectangle can be made up of squares. So, I'm just going to take this and it's hard to do because your pieces are flimsy. And I apologize for that, but we didn't have enough pieces to send home with everybody. So I'm just going to go around it like that. And you can see kind of a not so straight, but you can see that I was able to use those square pieces to make a large rectangle, to make a large rectangle. And then what we can do is you can also take those pieces, and I'm just going to make a small one here so that you can see it. So you can also take those pieces and make a big square. So if you look, so I've made a rectangle here and then I can take those same pieces and make the shape of a square down here. Okay, it's, let me try to get them a little straighter like that. So I can make a square. So what we're gonna do in this lesson is you're basically going to make new shapes out of the shapes we've already been learning. Okay. So you can practice a bit on this little white sheet if you want to. You can trace them. You don't have to trace them. But you can practice making shapes uh, out of the shapes that you have. So now let's look at how we're going to do this with the other shapes. So if you look at box number one over here, what we're going to do is we're going to make these shapes. So if you see... They're almost the same size. Ms. Brutman did a good job eyeballing these shapes like this. So what I have is I have these two squares right here. And if you look carefully, what you want to do is you want to try to make a rectangle using those two pieces that you have right there. So all I'm going to do is move them over into this dotted line area like this. And using two separate squares, I can make the rectangle. I can make the rectangle. Now, this one is going to be a little bit harder. We might have to play around with this next one. So I want you to get out your triangles, and I want you to just cover the triangles on the page with the triangles that you cut out. They should look like that. Remember, at any time, please feel free to pause the video because it's going to, it could take a little bit to uh, get all your pieces together and get them to stay. All right, so I've put my four pieces right here. We want to try to make one big triangle using just these four triangles, kind of like a puzzle, boys and girls. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start like this and I'm gonna go, hmm, okay, there's, that fits nicely. And I'm just gonna do kind of the easy way like this and I'm gonna see if I can put, nah, 
I'm going to have to do it like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and do one like this. And look, this last piece fits just like that. So you can make a triangle using those triangle pieces. Mine kind of move. So I want you to go ahead and trace that triangle, and I want you to practice using those four little triangle pieces to fit it together like a puzzle into this triangle. Remember, pause the video anytime. Okay, now let's take six of our triangle pieces. One of mine just dropped, so hopefully I have enough up here. Okay, so here is these, and I need three more. Here's one, and here's one, and I'm going to have to grab mine. Oh, it was in my chair. Okay, there we go, just like that. So, a little bit harder. Do you think you can do that? I don't know. We have to play around with it like a puzzle. Like We're going to play around with it like a puzzle. So the first thing that I'm going to do so we can see it is I'm going to go ahead and trace this shape. Does anybody remember what this shape is called? Let's look. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six sides. It's a hexagon. Good job. Now let's see if we can make a hexagon using those triangle shapes. So I'm just going to, I'm going to play around with it, boys and girls. I haven't done this yet. So I'm just going to play around with it and see if I can't make the triangle shape. So look, if I do that, I'm, oh, okay, I'm looking good so far. And I'm going to do that. And now I've got the first piece to my hexagon. And then I'm going to see if I can't do that same thing at the bottom right here. And look, I can use six triangles to make a hexagon, boys and girls. So you're able to make bigger shapes and different shapes using the shapes that we've already learned about. All right, good job. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to take those shapes that you cut out. So I've got the squares and the triangles when you need it. And I want you to practice using your shapes to make the bigger shapes. And the easy way to do it would be just like we were doing. I would put my pieces on top and then I'd move them over. But this one down here requires you to see what shapes you need to make that big giant square at the bottom. So go ahead and do that on your own. Practice, turn off the video, and once you get them and trace them, go ahead and turn your video back on and we'll finish. Okay, boys and girls, in number seven and number eight, those boxes, you're going to look at the rectangle. You've got the rectangle right here. Draw the shapes that make up the rectangle. Okay, what shapes are making up the rectangle? It's real easy to see those, right? Squares are making up the rectangle. Okay, so I want you to just draw the two shapes you needed to make that rectangle. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, boys and girls. Okay, number eight. You're going to look at the triangles. So you've got two triangles here, and I'm going to go ahead and just move two triangles over here because I think that I'm going to have to make it. So it says, can you make two triangles into a rectangle? Into a rectangle. Is there any way to put those triangles together to make a rectangle? And boys and girls, you'll just play around with it, right? Because we don't know the answer to that. So if you keep flipping, 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 see if you can ever get a rectangle out of it. If you can get a rectangle, I want you to circle those triangles. If you cannot make a rectangle out of those, I want you to put an X on those triangles. Go ahead and shut the video off, play with it a bit, and then I'm going to tell you the answer. Okay, boys and girls, try as Ms. Brockman might, there is no way to make a, tr a rectangle out of these triangles. You can put them together any way, and there's no way using just two triangles that you can make a rectangle. So I'm going to just put X's on these triangles like that. Good job, boys and girls. Now, we're going to do your homework, and what I want you to do is just same thing. I want you to go through these problems using those cutout shapes and see if you can make the shapes on the page. Good job boys and girls and you're gonna do both sides 
right here again still making the uh, bigger shapes and then on this very last one number six you are going to make a shape you're going to name it and then you're going to color it once you're done, don't throw away your pieces because you're going to need them. Go ahead and put all your little pieces, I'll show them to you, all your little pieces in a Ziploc bag so that you're ready to use them in the next lesson. Great job, boys and girls. See you next time.